Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Mika. And in today's video, it's gonna be real quick. I'm here to talk to you guys about some of the things that you've been seeing as a data analyst and uh, some of the misconceptions and the expectations and all of that. And so this is it. Okay. So you go onto YouTube, you see all these people, and um, when you're seeing a day in the life as a data analyst, and you start watching their video, and the first thing you see is what? Them getting out of the bed and making coffee and, um, and you know, exercising and all of that. And that is great. That's wonderful. Not a problem. Um, and then you see them work for about an hour or two. Then they go to lunch. And then after that, they're laying around watching Netflix or they went for a walk, they're out grocery shopping, and it just doesn't seem like we're doing anything, right? The thing is, is that when I see those videos, I be like, yeah, it could be like that sometimes. <laughs> Which is true, it really is true, it can be like that. And so I read some of the comments in those videos, and it was this one girl that was on there, and she, it was like a short that she did, and Oh my God, they clown, y'all clown her. Like when I say y'all clown her, y'all clown her. It's called My Day as a Data Analyst and it's a short, okay, right? Hi, it's Anna, I'm Data Analyst and this is my day, so do you think So the first thing she does, she talks about, hey guys, this is me, first I gotta make me some tea. Then she said, then I do about a little hour of work. Then I have, uh, then I'm communicating. The next thing you know, I'm off to lunch. So she's showing like how she goes to lunch. And then after that, I have my, I make my coffee. And then after that, I spend the rest of the day in front of a laptop. Okay. <laughs> so some of the comments go by and it says, a day in the life of, every day's, uh, of everybody's job. When, when searching for those topics, we want to know how and what, what are you doing? Uh, what are you working on, right? So just starting on that. So that was like seven replies, 334 thumbs on just on that comment and replies. And someone put for real. And then another person said, for real, we don't care if you drink coffee or some vanilla bullshit thing while they're working. Then another person said, excuse my language, I apologize. Um, laughing my butt off. You can't show what, um, well, they can't show what they're working on, which is true. This another person put on here, nothing basically. She's just saying that she's useless. Right, and another person put, exactly. And then another person said, don't understand why there is multiple videos like this. They go really deep into how they stop to lunch or how they communicate to work, but the actual work is just, yeah, I work. Let me tell you a secret. Nobody gives a damn on how <laughs> many times you drink tea or get a break or how your office looks, uh, looks like. Show the actual work, stop tricking people. So another person said, yeah, but what do you do actually? Like exactly, how do you know what you need to work on? How do you access your data? Like she went down and gave like a whole list of things. Another person says they're all like this. They all start off with the with the with them drinking coffee and working, I mean working out and all of that. And but they only spend like an hour of working, but doesn't seem like they're really doing a whole lot of anything. So let me just say this. And I have said this before in a previous video, and I don't remember what video it was, but Data analysts, we do have a lot of freedom, okay? That is very true. It is very true. I don't even know how many, way, how many ways I can say it. It's very true that we do have a lot of freedom. The freedom has to be earned, okay? So if you ever go back and you look at anybody else's videos and they're just showing them... Um, um, eating, waking up and making coffee and working out and then they'll work for a little bit and then they'll leave and then they'll go have lunch and then go for a walk. When they do stuff like that, um, and then I read a comment on somebody when I saw that video, I read a comment and someone says, oh, I would love to do that and just have all this freedom and all this free time and not be chained to a desk. This is the thing, ladies and gentlemen, the part that people are missing is the fact that when she first started talking about her video, not the girl who just got slammed, but the one that where she was showing where she went for a walk and she did all that, she literally said that she has been in the field for nine to 10 years. Eight, I think it was no, eight to nine years, okay? This kind of freedom does not come day one. 
that's the part that people don't seem to understand when it comes to a, a role as a data analyst. You have to get acclimated with your company and with the data and with the databases and learn your way around. When you get to the point to where you can start turning things around quickly, then you can start slowly introducing di um, your different freedom and a little bit of break time. You can spend a little more downtime than you do work, right? But when they're working on a major project, see, they're showing you the glory side of a data analyst. But there are days where we actually do have tickets and deadlines. So we do have to spend, as you see, I have to spend two hours and four hours on some data because I got to get it out. I have a deadline that's due on Friday. They're showing you the glamorous side of the data analytics world. But like I said, it doesn't, that kind of freedom doesn't come day one. And that's what we have to get people to understand. So if you're coming into the data analytics world, analytics world thinking, oh, I, I want that. I want the freedom and that you can get it. It, it's just that it's not going to come on day one. Yes, I've been in the field for nine years. And so I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I got a lot of freedom and I do, but I don't utilize that freedom every day, right? Like it's a typical day like that, but it's not every day. Okay. There are some days where we're challenged and we're trying to figure some stuff out and we're frustrated. And sometimes I need to get up and take a walk because I'm about to chunk that monitor out the window because I can't figure it out. So that part we don't show you but we don't show you the part where we're hitting the desk and you know screaming at it and upset and pissed off because we can't get what we need what i want you to understand is is that there is always some pros and cons that's going to come as a data analyst every day it's not like that it's not that every single day you don't get to say oh well yeah i'm gonna go watch netflix and that now don't get me wrong, I have a TV that is in my office and Netflix is on sometimes. But I have that on, like, if I'm in the middle of building a report, I'll have that Netflix on while I'm watching TV and building this report at the same time, and then I can turn it around. But if I'm coding, that TV is off because I know that I need to concentrate. Now, if I can find a break, I'll get up, I'll go put some clothes in the washer. I will even go to Walmart if I need to and buy me something to eat or something to cook or whatever. Hey, this morning, I got up and when I was working and then after I finished my meeting I just got up and walked around the house and I swept the floor a little bit I mean I can do that because I have that freedom but I'm not doing that every day okay so that's gonna be the thing so when you're so just keep in mind people that when you're looking at the data analytics a day in the life of a data analyst that's not every day they're just showing you one day that's why I say a day in the life not a week Okay, um, now I would love to show you what my week look like, honey, because you'll probably be like, oh, no, I don't want to be no data analyst. I'm just saying, okay, so <laughs> just be mindful that when you're watching these that uh, pay attention to what they're saying. Okay, uh, pay attention to the fact that they said that they have been working in the field for six years, seven years, maybe not even with that company. But I promise you, day one, they want, even if they started that company, day one, they weren't doing that. Day one through 90 days, about three months, it took them to get acclimated. That means they have to figure out where all of the tables are in the databases and which tables you're going to use more than the other. And then, um, you know, where are some of these queries at and what's some additional stuff and, you know, like what filters do I need to make sure that I'm using and things like that. Like they're learning all of that. So within that three months, you are getting acclimated with the company, trying to find your curve, trying to find your groove, trying to figure out how you can maneuver things, how quickly can you turn things around. But the more seasoned you are the faster you'll become acclimated when you start working for different companies um but when you're first starting out it's gonna take some time to get there it may only take you three months six months it may even take you a year and then once you start getting you know when you feel comfortable okay like when you get a ticket and it don't phase you and you good this is when you can start now introducing a little bit of downtime a little bit of freedom at the end of the day what you see is not always what it appears to be. So it's, this is still social media, folks. They're showing you what they want you to see. I hope that doesn't hinder you from becoming a data analyst. We still need more people in the data analytics world. But I just want you to come in with the right expectations. That's all. All right. That's all I have. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.